well here in this video I'm gonna show you part of how the requests uh, Ajax requests are structured uh, at the beginning we had problems uh, there were problems detecting about uh, Ajax responses is, uh, uh, colliding so there was that, that there was that was hindering us from properly showing the information when it was required so we decided uh, to encapsulate uh, the request as well as the as the response in a single object which in this case is defined as a function in JavaScript uh, here and we are given a reference for uh, an area of the screen in this case is a row of a table and the patient that we are going to bring from a database the information of the patients that we are going to bring uh, this code here uh, concerns uh, the request so here we find uh, whether the browser accepts uh, an XML HTTP request order or whether it's a uh, Microsoft ActiveX object according to these parameters here uh, if this thing is defined then it has an X HTML the browser has an XML HTTP request um, or if uh, window ActiveX then it would be a Microsoft object the one that we have to to create and then we send the the request and the second part of the code is is the part where we process the request and attach it to the uh, HTML elements or the respective HTML elements so this allows us to uh, cut short of any uh, you know malfunction of the system by you know by crossing uh, uh, crossing uh, the, the requests from one user to the other or a single user that inputs very rapidly several requests at the same time so this is a nice form to avoid collisions between responses and that's the way that we did it